in this video we'll be looking for how do we format all the chart elements after this video once you go through this i bet you can create your own chart you can customize your own chart in three minutes any chart right so i'll give you a shortcut method how to customize or how to format all the chart elements first of all i'll create a simple chart how do i create in a chart in just one second is default chart i'll select the data and press shortcut key from my keyboard is alt f1 i'll press alt f1 from my keyboard i get this chart so this chart i want to format it and make it according to my requirement so remember if you're using excel 2010 2013 or 2016 the only shortcut to edit or format any uh, chart element is double click on that item if you're using previous version the steps are different so i'll show you for that also now let's start with the very first one this is the chart area if you have seen if you want to format this chart area what you have to do is you have to just double click on that chart area I'll just double click on the chart area and if you see on the right hand side I've got a floating dialog box that is for the chart area so format chart area now it gives various options like you want to change the color you want to change the background or size or image everything so I'll go with the first one that's the color bucket and these are the options available and if you want to change some color let's say you can keep on selecting a solid fill I'll just move it at one side I get space to roam here yeah so I can see a solid fill, I can change the color to some other color, red color or somewhere, I'll select yellow color. Similarly, if you want some other option, you can go for gradient fill, uh, pattern fill or some automatic like this options, you can keep on getting it. But now if you do not want that kind of chart, if your manager asked you to add a company logo at the back end of your chart area, you can use it. So just select this picture or texture fill and then you get an option as picture that is a file button. Once you click on that file button, it will ask your dialog box. This is a picture, insert picture, where is the location of the picture? So I'll say on the desktop, I might have some image. Let's see, I have this picture, I'm not sure. Yeah, this picture, I'll click on insert. You see, there's a random picture which is inserted at the back end and you can also put your company logo. If you do not want it, you just click on this automatic, the picture goes away, it comes back to the original position. And if you see the second option, that is again in this place, you can see for shadows, glows, that is the soft edges, 3D format, which are least used. If you still want, you can select this options from here. Again, for the glow, these are the options available. And the third one, again, it goes for size, properties and alt text, not actually required. You can just use this fill option and also for the borders, which are less used again. And you can go for the text options. In this text option, if you see, by default, it is for the black color, all the text on the chart area. If you want to change the color, let's say if I select the blue color, you see this entire color on the chart is blue now. So you can change the color also by using this text option. Similarly, there are some shadow options. There are some other options also available. So the basic one is you can use this text color and you can also use this transparency and all these options available. Now, I'll just close this. The chart area is done now. Now, there are various elements present. If you want to format a plot area, same option is double click. Do not go to the menu bar. Double click on plot area. If you've seen the previous video, the plot area is this one. This selected area is plot area. Double click on the plot area like this and you get this format plot area. Now, I've asked you to close this and again go to this another place and double click. I'll give you one more shortcut. You do not, don't have to double click every time. Just for example, if you're in this place, chart title, chart area, double click on the chart area, you get format chart area without closing this dialog box. Click on this plot area. See the name of the dialog box. It has changed to format plot area. Similarly, if you click on this place without closing dialog box, it becomes as format axis. Now, we were on the plot area. Plot area has the same options what we have seen for the chart area. Let's see the next one that is the vertical axis, format axis. It says if you want to change the color of the format axis, the same options are available. I do not want to change it, but I'll try to show you something useful, interesting in this place. If you see the currency format, it is, uh, it is some given as lags 0.00. The formatting is there. So I can go to this place, that's the text options. Yeah, I can go to this axis options. Yeah, yeah. And the third one, if you see here, that's the axis options available. In this place, if you see there's a minimum given as zero, maximum is one, six, double zero, double zero, which is the amount given here. What I want is I want to convert into some amount. Let's say I want the minimum value as thousand. So I can just delete it from here and I'll type here thousand. Zero becomes here thousand and I can click on the next cell you see this changes to 1000, that's a minimum axis. Similarly, if you want to change the maximum axis, that is 16000, so you can just change it here. And if I say I want one, kind of, hope it's correct. Yeah, 
So the axis changes maximum axis and also you can keep on changing the major interval and the minor interval also. Major interval if you see that's 91,000, 81,000 that is about 10,000 some difference. You can keep on changing it if you want not 10,000 you want 20,000. You can click on 20,000 and enter. So the gap if you see that's a 20,000 difference between all of them. Next if you see here at the bottom there are some lab, uh, there are some number formatting that is very important here. Now right now if you see that's a number format I do not want in the number format I want in the currency format. So I can just click on this custom and I can select here some currency options number currency accounting. I'll select here currency and it will ask which currency do you want that's a rupee symbol Indian currency. I'll go for some other symbol let's say I'll go for the dollars let's see US dollars and uh, yeah. I'll select this English Canada dollar and you see that's the dollar sign. Now if you want to remove the decimals again you can click on this place remove the decimal make it to zero select zero and you can you can click somewhere else. So automatically it changed here yeah this way. Now if you see the text is very lengthy 61,000, uh, 71, 81,000, 41,000. Now you can give a label to it. If you see there are many lengthy uh, numbers given you can make it as a display units. So if you see there's a display units which is given here. If I select I want display units for thousands and you see there's something given here 41 dollar and the figure is in thousands. If you if you select here not thousand if you want into the hundreds you see it is 810 hundreds and similarly you can give this label also. So these options are available in the format axis and in this place you can see all the options available. Similarly the next one I have option as yes these are the last one. Next similar to vertical axis you can also use the horizontal axis same options are available but I'll show you one more extra thing in this once you double click on this axis uh, horizontal axis you'll get this format axis option available here and the next one you can go to the text options and uh, in this place the last option if you see it says the alignment of the text how do you want the alignment of text now the text is very less a small thing so you can fit into the one place imagine the text is very lengthy that time you have to tilt the text in some angle wise in this place or in the vertical manner so if you see there's an option as custom angle i keep on changing the custom angle see the difference what is happening on the screen now if you still do not like if you want to change it somewhere you can use the text direction and there are various types of direction available there's a stacked there's a rotate by 270 and 90. So if I select stack so this is the axis title if these are the word horizontal axis place and if I select here something as rotate by 90 degree this become 90. If you do not like you can go back to the horizontal place that's the only difference in the vertical horizontal axis option available and I'll close this one. So this way we have seen the chart area, the plot area, vertical axis, horizontal axis and other options. Next one I'll show you how to go for the chart title. If you want to format the chart title, the first of all we'll try to change the title here. It's not looking a bit better. If you want to change the chart title, just select the chart title and write some sensible name. Let's say I'll write as summer sales. So without double clicking on that, just type here as summer sales and press enter. In the formula bar the text is typed but here it is not typed. So once you press enter you see there's summer sales but now if you do not want that kind of name you want some fashion name which is written over here just select that type equal to right and you just keep your cursor wherever the text is present. So this cell text will be copied and it will be inserted into the chart title and you have to press enter. So you see Amazon summer sales 2011 so that is the summer sales chart title. Similarly, if you want to give the axis title, first thing is you need to add here axis title and uh, you can just select it and uh, I can just type here. I can type it as um, sales, enter. So you see sales I added. Similarly, you can go to this place. Now, let's see how do you format the chart title or axis title. Very simple, just double click on that. You'll get this format chart title and the same options, no difference. You don't have to go to the menu bar, go and click on this place, just use this shortcut key, double click. And the different options available, same what we have seen there. Next is, we'll, so we'll see how to go for the data labels. I'll just select this data labels and you see there's a data labels added. And uh, yeah, data labels added, selected this one, it goes somewhere out. Yeah. Now let's see if it's, 
if it is 578.90 and if you want to format that data label let's see if you want to make it into a currency or if you want to change the format double click on that and you'll get this dialog box format data series yeah double click on this one it becomes format data labels same options are available here if you see the color options are available the other type of options are available shadow and all this options are new something here that is a label options what position do you want center inside so if i select center you see where is the position of the legend uh, this one data labels inside end if i select that's inside end inside base if you see outside end so the position of the uh, data label keeps on changing similarly if you want to add some here label options that the label contains right now it is only a value but if you want to add some more information you can just select here category name website sales 460 that's a website sales if you add a series name it says toys website sales for toys means this is the blue color toys there's the toys added for this column so you can keep on customizing it if you do not want you just reset label text and i'll just remove that and close it so this way you can add the data labels here i'll just click on add and add the data labels next we have as grid lines if you want to format the grid lines double click on the grid lines no need to go to the menu bar you can make it thick small change the color or you can delete it also so this way these are the options available sorted line grid line so if i want to change the color i'll change it to black color i want to increase the width of the you know line you see it's becoming thick and you can change the options right now i do not want to go into that i'll select and just press delete key if you observe i have not gone to the menu bar i have just or the tabs i've just used everything here by just using double click next we have formatting of the series now if you want to change the format of the series that's a column just double click on that and you'll get this option here and you see there's a color option which you can, which you can select here the color options are available but i'll try to show you something interesting which you will not find it here but uh, i'll just close it now first i'll change the color here and uh, click on close now it seems a bit boring when you go for a presentation this kind of columns i'll give you something interesting here you can go to the insert tab and you can click on this shapes in this shapes if you see there's a shape given here arrow keys so i'll draw this arrow keys and i'll change the color of this arrow keys to something different green color right now if i want to create this green color arrow key like this one up arrow key into this chart how do i do it very simple select that thing that is the you know shape control c copy it click on this yeah once you click on that place you see this one this one and this one is selected that's it what i've done control c and you have to just press control v that is paste here also if you can do the same thing it's control v i have to paste now now it's working this is somewhere it's going somewhere out so if i just see this you see that's arrow key is added same way you can add any shape of your requirement into this place when you go for a presentation it looks very beautiful secondly if you want to add a company logo design or color everything you can add it just by double clicking on it and you see there's an option available for fill you can go to this picture and find out the option or image anything text over here next i have is i can go to this place yeah if you see these are the three columns there's a how much is the gap between all these columns if you want to do a series overlap you see what is happening you see the changes on the screen series overlap if i ask them to overlap the series it will overlap again if you want to make it separate you can reduce it similarly the gap width between this two this two series you can remove it you just click on this gap width it will go far if you remove the gap width it will come closer so series overlap and the gap width can be done right similarly that's the changing the position and you know make it properly next i have that is the secondary axis this is the primary vertical axis primary horizontal axis what if i want a secondary vertical axis secondary vertical axis will come over here for this one because i have selected this columns so i'll click on this secondary vertical axis and you see the difference what is happening here i have a secondary vertical axis for this one and this is this one i have a particular uh, primary vertical axis and i'll just close this dialog box because i do not want it around now and you can keep on changing so first i'll change the color color i'll change it to yeah 
I will close it here. Yeah, so this is how you can change it. And the last one we have something here for legends. If you want to format the legend, you just double click on that legend and you will get a dialog box, this kind of dialog box and the same options are available. Similarly, a text options are also available. What you have seen in the previous one, it's almost same, no difference in that. Now, sometimes you might forget how to go for using a shortcut method. For people who are using 2007 and 3 version and previous version, how to get it? Select the area or the chart element, whatever you want to format. You can go to this design tab or you can go to the format tab and select the color. It's getting loaded. Select the color. Done. So it will get loaded now. Yeah. Select the color from here like this. So it changes. Select the color from here. It changes automatically. So you have to go to the menu bar or you can say tab to change the colors. Otherwise, very simple thing is you just right click on the chart. Right click on the chart like this. Right click on the chart area and you get this option as format chart area for previous version. For newer version 2010, 13 and 16, double click is the only mantra by, by which you can use it and keep on formatting. It's very, very simple here. So I hope you have understood how to uh, format all the chart elements using a shortcut key. Remember that double click. That's all for this video.